let's look at future value of a single amount so where is the formula fb is equal to pb into 1 plus r to the power t here fb indicates future value pb indicates present value r indicates rate of return t is the time period so what would be rate of return or your interest rate and and the process of converting present value of money to future value is called compounding it means earning a return on your uh, it is also known as earning a return on your past returns now let's look at a difference between simple and compound interest rate simple interest does not earn interest on interest it is uh, mostly applicable for short term instrument like instrument for money market securities and compound interest means you will receive interest on interest we will explain these two two concepts with an example now let's look at future value of a single amount self paced suppose you have you deposit $100 today at 10% interest rate. Now the question is how much you will receive after 5 years? If you apply compound interest rate, your future value will be 161.05. So if we apply it in formula, which is future value is equal to present value into 1 plus R to the body. Here present value is $100. So PV is $100. That's your deposit today. 1 plus R, R indicates the rate of return or interest. Your interest rate is 10%, so R will be 0.1, and T is the time period, T is here 5. So if we apply compound interest rate, your future value will be 161.05. Now, if we apply simple interest rate, what will be your future value? So in case of simple interest rate, you will receive $10 deposit every year. That's $100 into 10%, $10 deposit every year on $100. So, over the 5 years, you receive $50 interest. So, after 5 years, in total, you receive $100 plus $50, that's $150. So, if you receive, apply compound interest, your answer is uh, 161.05, but if you apply simple interest, your answer will be 150. That's how compound interest is different from simple interest rate. You are receiving more money if you apply compound interest. That's because if you receive interest on interest. For example, on if you deposit $100, it will be 110 after one year with 10% interest. And for the second year, you receive interest on $110. So after two years, it will be like $121. So this is how compound interest or worse. Whereas simple interest does not count on interest on interest. So if you deposit $100 today, after one year, it will be $110. After two years, it will be $120. So this is how simple interest works.